It is just the latest violent incident in the city of Dallas. And today, some pretty strong words from the Dallas police chief directed at citizens who she says are turning a blind eye to recent violence. CBS 11's J.D. Miles tonight reports. Three times since Saturday, Dallas police officers have taken gunfire on the streets of the city. The latest on Highcrest Drive, where a SWAT officer was grazed by a bullet during a standoff with a woman who later killed her daughter before committing suicide. Who she shot herself and her eight-year-old daughter. A tragic situation. Uh, violence, family violence that is really overtaking our community. Dallas Police Chief Renee Hall spoke to reporters after it ended and had a stern message to residents of the city about a recent wave of attacks on officers. In the last 48 hours, our officers have been fired upon multiple times. And what happens when the, the community that we swear to protect and serve turns around and turns on us? Where is the community outcry? The chief called on more citizens to form crime watch groups and join volunteer patrols. They're selling drugs. If they're beefing, I need you to say, hey, stop, not here. The chief also directed her pointed message at neighborhoods that tolerate violence and also have a high number of COVID-19 infections. We're fighting COVID and crime. We are fighting a pandemic. We are trying to stay alive, but then we kill each other. It's absurd. Late today, the Dallas Police Association issued a statement which says, over the past week, we have had several incidents where officers have been targeted by criminals and those involved in criminal activity. At a time when we have had hundreds of criminals released from jail, it has only increased violent crime in the city of Dallas. To combat this, DPD needs a leader with an aggressive crime-fighting strategy that will provide consistent results. In Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.